The following outlines the proper steps in applying the quick clot radial device. Open the package onto the sterile field in a dry area. Lay the bandage on the table, protective sheet up. Fold the tan side to the center of the telpha pad and crease it. Fold the white to the center of the telpha pad and crease it. Open the wings and break the protective sheet in the center by pulling on the wings from both sides. Fold the protective sheet from the center break back to the corresponding creases created earlier. For band placement, you can proceed per the IFU or follow these steps, which places the bandage first, then the roll dressing. Place the center of the bandage, telpha pad, and adhesive side down over the puncture site using the thumb on one hand to hold the bandage in place. The telpha pad should cover the sheath at the puncture site and the arteriotomy site. Use the other hand to peel back half of the protective sheet on the tan side so as not to get the adhesive stuck to your gloves. While still holding the thumb in the middle of the bandage over the puncture site, take the tan side of the bandage, stretching it so that you can wrap it around to the middle of the back side of the patient's wrist, securing the bandage to the skin while removing the protective sheet once the tan side is in position. Switch hands and secure the center of the bandage with the opposite thumb. Use the opposite hand to peel back half of the protective sheet on the white side so as not to get the adhesive stuck to your gloves. While still holding the thumb in the middle of the bandage over the puncture site, take the white side of the dressing, stretching it so that you can wrap it around to the middle of the back of the wrist effectively securing it over the tan side of the bandage, which is already secured to the patient. Once the white side is in the proper position, remove the rest of the protective sheet securing the bandage. Ensure the catheter is pulled back far enough so that the cap is not interfering with the roll being placed over the puncture site. Lift the proximal side of the bandage. Slide the roll underneath ensuring the roll is covering both the puncture site and the arteriotomy site. Bump the roll enough to remove the catheter and ensure that blood is coming into contact with the roll. Apply manual compression on the roll until the bleeding has stopped. Do not lift the roll once hemostasis is achieved as this could potentially break the clot formation. Write three times on the bandage on the area closer to the roll. The first time will indicate the time hemostasis has been achieved. The second time will be 30 minutes after the recorded hemostasis time. This second time will indicate when alternating bands can be released on each side of the band, giving a gradual decrease of pressure. The third time will be one hour after recorded hemostasis time and will indicate when the bandage can be removed fully. Cross off the first time on the band before the patient leaves for the recovery area. The patient can now be moved from the cath lab and transferred to the recovery area. In the recovery area at the 30 minute mark designated on the band or time number two, alternating bands can be released on both sides of the dressing allowing for a gradual release of compression. In doing this, ensure the outer bands remain intact and begin with the inner bands. Ensure you hold the roll in place while breaking the bands so as not to disrupt the clot. Cross off time number two.
At the one hour mark designated by time number three on the band, place your thumb over the center of the bandage while releasing all of the bands on one side of the dressing. Separate the bandage from the roll, ensuring you are holding it over the site without disturbing the clot. Place a tegaderm over the roll. Once the tegaderm and roll are secure, remove the rest of the bandage from the wrist. Direct your patient to leave the roll in place for 24 hours.